Okay, so it's finally official that the next unpacked event for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 will happen on 26th of July. And if you don't know, Samsung has previously kind of disclosed that the launch will actually happen in South Korea towards the end of July. And now it has revealed all the details. Although Samsung hasn't really mentioned the names of the phones, but it will be announcing during the event the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the Z Flip 5, and they're going to be Tab S9 series, which will see a very small upgrade, and the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic. So we know what the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will look like thanks to a variety of renders and leaked marketing materials, but no real life look until recently. The Galaxy Z Fold 5, even though will be a very small upgrade visually from the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it will still be a great of a foldable phone in the market like US and Canada. Now the biggest upgrade according to many reports are in the hinge and in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset department. Now, in the photos, one thing is very much visible, the water drop hinge. And this is the first time Samsung is going to implement this type of hinge. Now, even though most other foldable smartphones have been using this hinge for a little long, this hinge will actually allow the foldable plastic display to fold inside the hinge in a way that it will create a shape like water drop, which in turn actually allow the device to not have the deep crease when opened and when closed, there will be no gap between the two halves of the phone. And we can clearly see that in the Galaxy Z Fold 5's leaked live photos. And this is just amazing looking. Like literally, like the difference between the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Z Fold 5 in this department particularly is crazy good. And we also know that Samsung makes one of the most strongest foldables in the market as well as and much more water resistant. But this time, even though we have heard that the thanks to this new hinge, we're going to see certain types of dust resistant rating. But IC Universe actually says that there is still going to be IPX8 rating, even if the hinge is slightly more dust resistant compared to last year's hinge. We have also heard that recently because of this new hinge, the free stop or flex mode isn't working that well. But we know that Samsung will do something about that. But what Samsung couldn't do, according to IC Universe, is reducing the deep crease that much. Yeah, it is still visible and it is about 15% less visible, but that's it. Which is slightly disappointing considering other companies have found out ways to reduce the visibility of the crease. Now, coming back to the other improvements, the custom Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is something that we've already seen inside the Galaxy S23 series. But the same chipset with one Cortex X3 core running at 3.2GHz still performs better than it did inside the Galaxy S23 series maybe due to better optimization or a better cooling system. Now, other than that, visually, it will be very slightly thinner. That's it. And that too, even when folded. And it will also probably going to have slightly narrower bezels. And at the back, the camera bump is very similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 4, but with slight differences in the camera ring and the camera flash placement. But we have heard that the camera sensor resolutions aren't changing at all not even at the cover screen or even underneath the foldable display. It's still going to be a 4 megapixel under display camera. I mean, really? By the way, we might even see a slight reduction in the launch price. Uh, well, well that, that's actually good. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below from which phone you're going to upgrade to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Is it an uh, older Galaxy Fold or is it just a normal slab smartphone? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.